When most people think about quotations smoking, they are often referring to lighting a cigarette. And yet this is not the only type of smoking that is bad for you. For all intents and purposes, you yourself probably don't want to be smoking forever, just as much as anyone you would know wouldn't want you to either. The goal of this presentation is to keep this from happening, and by the end of this, if you have an open mind, you'll have all the information you'll need to avoid this from becoming your reality. To start, we'll look at the harmful effects of cigarettes and what do they do to your body. In the latter half of this presentation, we will look at a type of smoking that nobody wants you to experience, but thankfully there's good news to help you avoid this. All of this will be done with the help of the authorized version of the Holy Scriptures. With that all being said, let's get the show on the road by reading our first passage of scripture. Galatians 6 verses 7 to 8 Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Let's just talk about the practical effects of cigarettes and the like for a moment. The idea of putting smoke from any substance in your lungs is far from natural and is poisoning your mind and body. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that cigarettes are bad for you. The harmful toxins found within tobacco products are evident and depending on where you live, some governments have placed warning labels on each pack to discourage further use. You are not designed to do this, and the phenomenon of inhaling smoke for recreational stimulation is nowhere found in the natural world with any creature. The first part of Romans 6 verse 23 says, for the wages of sin is death. And according to the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, 8 million people a year globally receive the wages of their sin due to smoking. It's not hard to believe how this is responsible for a lot of suffering in the world. Just imagine the children who have had their parents pass away due to their inability to control their vices. Now since we have discussed the effects of cigarettes on your body, it is now time to move on to the second part of this message, which is to warn you about smoking. And no, not tobacco, but something much more terrifying, which comes not only as a result of poisoning your body with said substance, but comes after a life of various destructive behaviors. Let's read this passage to help clarify which quotations smoking is being referred to. Revelation 14 verse 11 And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. Hell is a place reserved for all those who are found guilty of sin which is the lake of fire initially prepared for the devil and his angels. Imagine spending a billion years burning alive in a place where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched, wondering how much longer you'll have to endure such unbearable torment and suffering, only to realize this is where you'll spend the rest of eternity. This judgment doesn't come, however, from just smoking cigarettes as other sins also cause eternal separation from God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 10, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. You're probably thinking right now, if all those who have done 
those deeds are guilty of sin, who then can be saved? If that is what you are thinking, let's get into the positive message promised at the beginning, which you won't want to miss. Romans 10 verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. We already read the first part of Romans 6 verse 23, but the whole verse says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God doesn't want to see you smoking in hell. He even loved you so much that he came down to earth, lived a sinless life among us, and paid for the wages of sin in full on the cross for whosoever should believe in him. At this time, the salvation of God comes now only by grace through faith and not of works, according to the word of God. If you go to hell, it wouldn't be because you weren't good enough, as you wouldn't have even needed to have gone in the first place if you had just accepted the gift that God offered you. You don't need to be sinlessly perfect to go to heaven, but through faith, God will not only save your soul, but will move into your life and, in time, remove the very things that are destroying you like smoking. Cigarettes stink, metaphorically and literally, but that doesn't have to be something you need to be a slave to the rest of your life. You might still have this addiction after receiving this message, but at least you know now how to avoid smoking forever.